Uh, took all day long. Um, very proud of our team. You know, obviously it wasn't the best game we played all year. I thought the defense did a great job in the first half of, of keeping the offense in it. You know, we didn't execute very well offensively. We left some plays out there, you know, even early, right off the bat. Um, but our guys stuck together. And, uh, you know, you got to give Virginia credit for how hard they played and how well they executed at times. Um, but it was a great two-minute drive and uh, really a good job in the second half by, by being able to come back and, and find a way to win. Uh, and we'll take it, no question about it. Yeah, we didn't have to say a whole lot. You know, we said, okay, baby, here we go. And uh, I was really impressed with our players uh, and their confidence and their energy of, uh, hey, let's go win this game. And um, you know, we got off to a good start and had great execution. Uh, the last throw was a perfect throw and a great job by Jalen. You know, they were both on the same page. He knew he was going to get the ball. He got a great release and, and got on top of the corner. And Lamar put it in a perfect place where only Jalen could make the catch. I guess obviously you guys weren't playing for a field goal. Well, was it, there, was a, was there was an option on that if they were in a different coverage to dump the ball down and work it towards the sideline. We still had one timeout left, but... Uh, you know, it wasn't strictly throw it deep or nothing. We had uh, another option, and they went blitz and came up and pressed. Uh, and Lamar made the right decision, and Jalen knew. As soon as Jalen saw the press, he knew he was going to get the ball. He was the first option there when he saw He was. The yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You know, games are hard. You know, it's hard to come out and play the same every, every week and, you know, I thought Virginia did a good job. Um, obviously, I'm not happy with the way we executed early. I don't think we uh, played as well as we normally can. But, uh, you know, we found a way to win. That's, that's what counts. That's why you play four quarters is to uh, find a, you can find a way to win the game. When you saw that coverage, you knew what the throw should be. Did you be confident in Lamar to make the read and make the pass? Yeah, yeah, we knew. He, you know, we, we do a lot of two-minute drills and a lot of work and no huddle. and. You know, we've had some great two-minute drives this year, but they've been at the end of the half. Um, so everybody on the field knew on that play that the first option was to throw the, the fade down the sideline. And if that wasn't there, we had an out route where he could throw the ball to the sideline and hopefully get as much as he can and get out of bounds and get us in field goal range. Um, so we had, we had the option to do that. But the fade down the sideline is not necessarily a high percentage pass, is it? But it's got to be executed. Yeah, you're right. It has to be executed perfect, and uh, I'm glad that we did it. It is something that we work on all the time, and, and uh, you know, one of the things that I've been really impressed with Coach Galloway, um, even when I was doing the, the interview process, was how well his receivers always threw the, the deep ball, the go routes and the fades, and, you know, his, what he teaches on it, uh, a little bit different than what we have here before. Uh, so it's great to see it pay off. Did Virginia do anything in particular to disrupt your offense? I, I realize the Mars still went for over 400 total yards and four touchdowns. I mean, they did a good job. They mixed in their blitzes. They slanted their front. You know, they hurt us a little bit with their slants. Our, our, uh, their nose guard uh, was a little more active than what he showed on video. So I thought he played a really good game for them. Uh, number nine's a really good player and, you know, did a great job of rushing. And, you know, I thought that they played with really good effort on their front four. Yeah, I mean, we just played. You know, you just try to find a way to, to get a touchdown, get a field goal, get back in it. And, you know, I thought our offense drove the ball and give, gives you momentum. And, you know, we, we're a good defensive team. Um, we're down a few guys, so I do think we got a little tired and, and uh, didn't play as well in the fourth quarter as we normally do. Yeah, I mean, it, it, honestly, it's something that I was concerned about because we've uh, we've had some games where our starters have only played three quarters and, you know, little one series in the fourth quarter. 
So you worry about, okay, what's our conditioning? What's our focus going to be uh, when it's a fourth quarter game and it comes down to the last drive? Um, so I, I think our strength and conditioning staff have done a great job. Uh, you know, the running that we do on uh, Sunday nights has really helped us in our conditioning because I really felt like, you know, we were in good condition there at the end. Our receivers were running routes full speed and, and uh, Lamar did a really nice job. Were you surprised they went for two and there was like a, almost two? Mm, no, nah, I knew they would go for two. Yeah, I mean, we're the fifth ranked team in the country and they had a chance to go for two to win the game. So we, you kind of do that going into the game. Okay, if, if we're playing for the tie, will we kick the field goal or go for two? If uh, they are, will they kick the extra point? Not a field goal, I'm sorry. Will they kick the extra point or go for two? So we, we pretty much knew they would go for two. We can't see from the press box what Lamar's demeanor is like. We can only see kind of what he does. But he's a young kid with a ton on his shoulders. What's his? He was really calm and uh, really confident, and focused. He's a great competitor. You know, he was upset at himself on the early interception in the third quarter. Uh, but he came over and told the offense, hey, that's on me. Here we go. Let's let's get it back in the game. So he's an impressive young man. What about the play, Jair? Jair is a great football player. And his ability to play the ball in the air and his hands, you know, really helped us win another game. You know, um, he was upset at himself for giving up a touchdown and, you know, something that he doesn't like to do. But his interceptions and, and his ability to return the ball after it, you know, allowed us to have time. Uh, you know, you, you worry about if, if he wasn't able to do that and we weren't able to score real quick, how much time would we have had? So uh, it all played together. I saw you give him a big hug on the way in the locker room. What did you, you tell him? I didn't hear what you said. What'd you go? Lamar. I'm not sure what I said. I probably said, I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Did they douse you? Oh, no. I was a little hot. So. But you had like three offensive podiums on one drive. What was your uh, message to the offensive line with you? Yeah, we can't do that. You know, we got to keep our hands in. And, and penalties hurt us right before half. Um, didn't give us the opportunity to put together a two minute drive like we did at the end of the game. Yeah, that always helps. You know, penalties are hard on you. What is your stance on politicking potentially for a player for the Heisman? Are you going to talk Lamar up and say he's the greatest player and he needs to win this award or you just let him go play? That's your business. He's pretty darn good. You know, I'm not sure that uh, we have to say a whole lot because his play and his stats and everything he's done speaks for itself. Um, I haven't seen anybody better. But then again, I don't see everybody. You know, that, that's the thing that's upsetting to me is when someone says, yeah, this is the greatest player, this is that, this is this. You don't see everybody. You know, I don't see anybody out west. I don't see anybody up north where it's freezing cold and windy. You know, um, I see Lamar, and, and uh, I can't imagine there's somebody better than he is. Coach, you talk about that being a team effort that last drop, but do you need a Heisman drug in the to take charge and you need that we feel like that? Um, we needed Lamar. And he took us down and, you know, did a great job of leading it. But, yeah, it did take everybody on the, on the team. It took all ten guys on offense and whoever rotated in there and stayed fresh. And, you know, it, this is the ultimate team game. That's the greatest thing about football is it's the ultimate team game. And uh, all 11 guys on offense have to do their job. If one guy doesn't, you can have a negative play. And that's why I love the game because it, it's all about team. Thank you. Thank you.